It's for people who really want to take charge of their life and make something of their life. It's for all the members of the Yes Group uh, who attend the Yes Group and the other people from outside who buy the tickets to come into this situation. Uh, so if you're not already a Yes Group member, you should become a Yes Group member because you get to come out to this awesome event once a year with exceptional speakers and motivational speakers. Brian today, uh, who's done goal mapping, etc. So it's good to be able to see that, you know, the right leads with vision, etc. And then you need your left side to be able to execute on those, those strategies. And then we had um, three amazing ladies talking about their experiences. And I thought, you know, that was awesome. Some of it was very difficult for them to share, uh, you know, and in, uh, certainly in Farmer's case. And uh, it is about that. It's no matter what you've gone through in life, you know, it's a gift. In there is a gift given to you. Uh, even in your darkness, there's a, there's a diamond shining there. And it's your job and your duty, I would say, to also share that with the universe and people in the universe. And then finally, Alan. Alan, well, you know, what can I say? Alan is just an awesome chap. What he shares and, and the spirituality and bringing it all together was an awesome experience. The one that was impacted the most was the goal mapping, the way it was presented. I was in sync with that today. I mean, I've got my own goals for this year. I've got about 50 different goals in the different eight aspects of my life. Having got those goals, I completely sort of rescheduled the goals that I should be focusing on in terms of mind mapping, etc. And so that's been a very positive thing. One of the stories that Favva shared with us, I was like, wow, it's a personal thing for her. And that, I think, requires a lot of courage as a person. It's also something that shows to me she has now come to terms with that event and has accepted it. And I think once you accept something that's negative or bad that's happened to you, you can move on in life. And so for me, she's been able to. So if there's something in me that's bad or whatever, I need to be able to share it out. And once you get it out of your system, you can move on. If you don't do this, you're like an unguided missile. This is to home you, this is to ground you, this is to focus you, uh, and, and this is to set you in the right frame of mind to go make it happen. Uh, long beyond once the enthusiasm has gone. Irrespective, you can't make it in life, at least do it online. We're in a technology world now. If you can't make it, at least do it online. But bear in mind, online, if you do it online, somehow find a mechanism of making it real, bring real life to it, so breathe it while you're doing it. Find a mechanism whereby you can actually, and I think the goal mapping was a great example of drawing pictures, etc., while you're doing it online. Make it real for yourself. The most empowering thing for me is like, now I've got a clear path. I know what the first step I have to do this year to get the other steps in line so that I can climb the steps right to the top but you've got to make that first step count and it's got to be rock solid.